Hey everybody, I would like to share with you my entry for Miss Garden Grove 1 a birthday challenge. This is a camera themed entry, so this is my take on it. I used one of these balsa boxes. This one here is what I used and I took this off and I painted it with the folk art paint all over and let it dry. And then I just applied, I used the Prima Tea Time Paper um, all over, put it all around. You can see on the back here, like that. And I thought it was really cute, like, to make this into a camera, like, because it's just the shape of it, like, it reminded me of the older handheld cameras that we used to, um, that were available at that time many years ago <laughs> so that's what I did I used the tea time paper I covered the whole box with it and on the sides then I took this beautiful two different trims here and put them on the side right here all the way around like this you can see all the way around real pretty I love tea time papers one of my favorite papers and then I took these glass beads, which I glued them on with the glitter art glue because that glitter art glitter art glue is really good. But it there it's like it's on there really good, but it, it just seems to move just a little bit. I don't know why, but it's pretty straight. I've straightened it and straightened it, and it's pretty um, stable right now. So that's what I did on the sides there to give it a finishing touch and then I thought it was really sweet to use like this big flower is like the lens I don't know why I just I just love flowers and I thought you know that's what I would do um, and I put the pretty pearls on the flower to make it stand out I use this trim right here on the bottom make it pretty there's another one there I think it's probably closed on the inside and then let me see yeah it is there it is there it is right there and then this right here is the button we push to take a picture and this represents the flash <laughs> so it's it's simple but um, I hope it looks like a camera I asked my daughters they said it does and then on the inside, I used a um, the magnet to give it closure, like it closes just right. So on the inside, I um, covered the magnet up with this beautiful um, applique there. Isn't that beautiful? And then I just made a sweet, sweet little name hanging. I couldn't get too carried away because it wouldn't fit inside. And um, kind of like this is the film on the inside. And I just made a sweet little name banner for Annie with the tea time paper and some beautiful trim. And this right here, this trim, let me show you, um, came from her store. I absolutely love it. And I'm hoarding it. And this is all I have left. I love this trim. This is so beautiful. So, um, yeah, I used that, and then I used another trim for my stash here. This was the first, and then I put this trim on top. And as you can see, it's just a sweet little a name banner. This is some beautiful trim here. And these are punch outs from EK Success, and then this one is Stampin' Up, and I just used beautiful, um, Fisker letters, is it? With some glitter on them. All the way down. Like that. And I put a pearl in between each one. Like that. And I use the Tim Holtz. Is it lipstick? Sponge Sugar. Sponge Sugar Distress Ink to go around the edges of each of these little banner pieces here. So I hope you like that, Annie. I hope you like it, honey. 
um, and it fits perfectly inside this little camera. So yeah, this will be going out today, and I wanted to share that with you, and I hope you all are having a wonderful, beautiful day. It's cold here in South Georgia, and it's going to get colder. So I hope you like that. I thought it was really cute. looks like a little camera. <laughs> so thank you again so much for stopping by, and I'll be back. Bye now.